Welcome to a tutorial on how to use Midjourney and DID, two powerful software programs that when combined, allow you to create your very own animated personalized avatar. I just came across the animation tool DID. And so today I challenged myself to create an animated avatar and it all started with Midjourney. If you'd like to create awe-inspiring images, then check it out. The process to create the image is really enjoyable because with Midjourney, you get to learn from others by watching how they create their image prompts. And every image you create goes into your own personal library so that you can reference them later. For my project, I wanted to create a robot that was human-like and had a warmth to it. And it took a few tries as one robot ended up being too serious and my favorite robot's headgear wouldn't animate properly. But I carried on and I feel like I succeeded in creating a perfect avatar. I mean, I can see myself having a nice chat over coffee with this robot gal. So from here, I used ChatGPT to generate a quick script for my avatar. I feel like chatbots are the most versatile. It's just so easy to work with it because you can modify and edit the content that it spits out to suit your needs. So anyways, with my character and script done, I am ready to create my animated character in DID. And in here you get 20 credits for free. And four credits, it looks like four credits is about a one minute video. So you can generate probably about five minutes of video with a free account. I did encounter an issue with the animation process. If the character has too much of a cartoon-like appearance, it seems that it won't recognize it as a face. Just kind of unfortunate and so that it can't be animated. From here, you copy and paste your script from ChatGPT and then just find a voice that best suits your character. There is a library of accents and languages to choose from. I kind of like the New Zealand accent. And so with that, you can generate the video and download. It downloads as an MP4, so we can now upload it to any platform. With the vertical presentation style, this is especially suitable for platforms like TikTok, YouTube Shorts, or Facebook. In my case, I'm using the avatar for a course development project and uploading it to Udutu's authoring tool. I was initially uh, resistant to using this tech in my work. I find like this AI can look so fake and kind of unsettling and I didn't really see it adding any value. But what changed for me is just, I personally, I like this example. It plays to the AI's strengths by making it a robot. And so the AI voice and animation, it makes sense. And I can think of other potential ways now where this tech could amp up my course design with AI avatars, especially since I found out you can also upload your own voice to bring your avatar to life. By using a real voice, I feel like the avatar moves from being just a cute character to a truly inspiring representation of a narrator. Maybe inspiring is too strong of a description, but it does add a fun, engaging element to the work. And if you'd like to learn more about how to use AI to create content, check out this next video.